My name is Hope Taft, president of the Tandana Foundation. One of the most exciting initiatives I have witnessed over the last 15 years is the blossoming of the environmental programs in Mali and Ecuador. Two communities in Mali, Kanzango and Saldemi, wanted to start a way to protect their land, so they recruited six other villages to join them in an effort. The Oligamio Environmental Association, which means let's protect our forests in English, has now grown to 24 communities who meet regularly and work together to protect their shared environment. The association wanted to conserve firewood, vital for cooking. By making more efficient cook stoves, they have reduced the need to cut down trees. Their tree nurseries grow seedlings to a size where they can be planted in fields and forests. They sponsor an annual reforestation campaign where the committee gives trees to members' villages to plant. In the rainy season, flooding in their fields lets lots of water go to waste and erodes precious soil. The association learned about a contour system so that stone lines surrounding their fields retain water and prevent erosion. They have found that these lines help millet and trees grow better. Water is a precious resource in the Sahel, and animals will search for whatever drop they can find. When they started invading the protected forests, members decided that ponds to provide water for animals as well as gardens would be a good idea. Now the animals leave the forests alone. Members have witnessed many fruits of their labor. Much of their harvest goes to provide food security at the local level and enrich their diets so that the population becomes healthier. Some fruits and vegetables go to the local markets to generate income, promising a better life to families and communities. School gardens have become a place to learn science lessons as well as earn money for school supplies since produce not eaten at school is sold. All these activities reinforce for me the value of letting communities take the lead. I remember visiting Mali in 2011 and helping Consango residents plant trees in a garden as a memorial to my mother, and then learning that Grandma's garden was producing fruit within the first year. Likewise in Ecuador, the other country where Tandana partners with communities, local efforts are harvesting many results. One year, we helped our partners gather native tree seedlings high in the Andes. This started an effort that has had many offshoots. One was supporting the building of greenhouses, acclimation beds, and other infrastructure at a nursery owned by an organization representing 24 communities. Those trees now provide wind breaks in some communities and shade along streets in others. Gardens are being created next to a health center so that seeds for better health for new moms and babes can grow in a multitude of ways. To make sure that communities far from city markets have their own food security, we support the planting of community gardens and orchards. Nature has become a teacher not only for students in school gardens, but also for Tandana volunteers who come to help. Even though we all live in the same world, local soil and weather conditions make planting in different ways necessary. Plants offer the opportunity to exchange ideas about varieties of food, their medicinal uses, and their cultural stories. All this flowering of community efforts is done in equal partnership, so it's a win-win for everyone based on respect and responsibility. Like the world's environment, we are all tied together. Mateus Paragucci, tree nursery manager in Ecuador, says, The word Tondana means to unite our efforts. I see that the word Tondana is not a dead word. It is a living word. It is a living word that is growing like a plant and slowly grows. Mm -hmm.